hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see segmented buttons or we can say ios style sliding buttons so let's start with our video so now as you can see we have only a column in our body other than that, that we only have an app bar so let's start so what we can do is now you can see i have int which is our selected control with the value of zero so let's begin the video so inside our column what we can do is we can simply write let's say we have a center and as a child we'll have our cupertino sliding sliding segmented control so now as you can see we have our widget called cupertino sliding segmented control so now as you can see it takes in children and on value change so for the children it will have our children which is our children which i have already made it's, it's a map with a type of dynamic and widget so as you can see we have our first second and third widget which is a text which will be used to show in our buttons so let's have our value so in the on value change we'll get our value okay so now here we have our value so what we can do is we can simply use our set state and we have our selected control equal to the value that we get when we changed okay so let's just save our app so now as you can see here we have our three buttons which are the first second and third but right now they are all disabled so what is it it takes in our control which is the selected controller so as you can see we have to give it to our group value so the group value will be our selected controller so let's just save our app once again and now as you can see it is highlighted as we have our first second and third so as we are clicking on it it will change and it will slide so as you can see so let's give it a little bit of working to it so now what we can do is we can simply just to look a more properly we'll have a property called background color so let's give it a background color of let's say green so let's just save our app so now as you can see we have a green background color for our cupertino sliding segmented controls so now how we can use it is let's do something let's have a widget called expanded and in the center let's have a child and now what we can do is we can simply check if our segmented control value is zero then we can just have an image I have an image inside my assets folder called image.jpg okay so if the value is zero then we'll show this image else what we can do is if the selected control value equal to one then we can show another image which is image.asset and we'll have it the name of assets slash image 2.jpg else what we can do is the, which will be our selected control of value which is 2 we can show another image so let's show image image and we'll have our assets image 2 or let's say image 3 dot jpg and now we can just simply save our app okay so now as you can see we have our first image so let's give it a little bit of spacing from below so let's add the sized box and let's give it a height of let's say 30 let's save our app okay so now as you can see we have our app ready where the first the value is selected as a first so we have our image one so let's click on the second 
so we have our image which is on the controller one and now let's click on the third so it says it's it is not okay we'll just change our image okay so here we go we have our third image so as you can see this is the cappuccino sliding segmented control you can slide it like this and it will change the value according to it so this is how you can use these cappuccino sliding segmented controls inside your app and hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel for more such videos and see you in the next video